In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can upgrade multiple models at the same time using eTransmit. So here I am in Revit. This is version 2021. And I'm just going to open a file to show that the models are indeed from a lower version of Revit. So I'm going to the existing files. And I have two projects that I saved here. They're both the sample project. One is saved in 2020, one is saved in 2018. Now if I try to open it, it's going to give me the upgrade pop-up box. And it's upgrading to 2021 here. But this is just for a single file. So let's just cancel this. What I want to go through is how you can use eTransmit, which is under the add-ins tab, transmit a model. And now we have the dialog box with all the settings for eTransmit. If we wanted to upgrade one model, we could browse to a model. But in this case, we want to do two models for this example. So we go to the example folder. We have the Revit existing files here. Select the folder and say OK. And we need to save the model to a destination so we can browse the folders. We'll put it in the same place. Um, and we'll just leave it uh, in the example folder. So let's go through the settings. You can include the transmittal and error reports. We'll leave that check. You can create output folder for each source model. Now, if you have multiple models, this might be a good thing to do because each model will have their own folder. Um, so in this case, we'll just leave this and the two models that we're upgrading will just go into separate folders. Uh, in the second section, we have add files. So we have linked Revit models, CAD links, and DWF markups. We don't have any of uh, any DWF markups, um, nor do we have CAD links or even Revit links, because it's just a standalone Revit file. However, we'll just leave those checked. We have no decal image either, but in your case, if your model has these things, you can check them. And you can also add additional file types and with this button here. The upgrade section is what we're really interested in. So we would select clean up pre-2021 models. So we can purge unuse. We can disable work sets if we want. For this case, we'll just leave that. And if you're just upgrading the entire model and all the views, you keep all the views. You can include views and sheets, or you can do, um, you can remove all sheets and you can customize what you want to show. This dialog box is typically used for sending drawings to consultants. And um, the last section is save these settings for the next time I use eTransmit. Um, so that's really just, just um, to save what you have so you don't have to do it again. And then at the bottom we have transmit file, transmit model, which is what we want to click on. Transmit model. Now it's saving the files. So it's upgrading the 2018 to 2021, and it will also upgrade the 2020 to 2021. And based on the settings we have, it should, it should put them in two separate folders.
So I think the 2020, 2018 is completed. And now it's doing 2020. If your firm has multiple projects that it would be updating, it might be a good idea to do this like on a Friday evening or you can do it overnight or over a weekend depending on the amount of files because Revit is going to go through each file and if some files have links it's also going to update the links and those will take a longer time as well so here it's completed we just we'll just go to open folder so we can see and this is our example folder and what it does it takes the source file that we had and it appended the time and date to it and then it shows project 2018 2018 and 2020 here and i'm just going to open 2018 to show that the file has indeed upgrade. So go to open, make sure we're in the right folder, example folder, 2018. If I say open, it opens quickly without any upgrades or anything because the upgrade was already done with eTransmit. So that's a quick tip on how to upgrade multiple files with efficiency using eTransmit.